Greetings, Cosmic Adventurers, Dr. D here. I wanted to quickly record an update for this video before posting it. I was so excited about the Peregrine mission to the moon that I started producing this video as soon as the mission launched. Unfortunately, what appears to be a propellant valve failure and subsequent propellant leak means the Peregrine mission will not be soft landing on the moon. I am looking forward to future astrobotic missions, and I hope you enjoy the video. Look for an updated video soon as the mission continues to unfold. Isn't now just an exhilarating moment for lunar exploration? I'm buzzing with excitement, having witnessed history unfold with the flawless launch of Astrobotics Peregrine Lander. When the clock struck liftoff earlier, you could feel the electric atmosphere even through the live stream. Blasting skyward atop the fiery plume of a United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket at Cape Canaveral, we witnessed the first pivotal CLPS mission embark on its momentous voyage. Now gracefully sailing through the vacuum, the small but mighty peregrine carries within its two-meter wide frame hopes of unlocking the moon's secrets. This pivotal demo mission marks the inaugural flight under NASA's CLPS initiative that stimulates public-private partnerships expanding our lunar capabilities. By enabling companies like Astrobotic to deliver cutting-edge technology demonstrations across the lunar terrain, insights uncovered will help NASA plan safer, sustainable human missions in the future. For now, as the intrepid lander wings towards its target, five exceptional NASA instruments ride shotgun ready to dazzle. Ranging from radiation monitors to next-gen spectrometers and cameras, this payload suite will assess environmental hazards, sniff out resources, and peer into the Moon's early origins. The landing ellipse on February 23rd nestles within Sinus Viscositatis, a level lunar mare on the near side. Sprawling over this sea of viscosity are unique concentric formations of rugged lava domes requiring water-rich magma to shape on Earth. Studying their composition could reveal tantalizing evidence of hydrated minerals, sailing over craters, mountains, and rocks older than life itself back home, Peregrine will showcase Astrobotic's advanced autonomous landing capabilities. Then the experiments commence as NASA's technology demonstrations spring into action. Once settled, NIRVSS starts creating mineral composition maps, identifying resources using an imager, spectrometer, and infrared sensors. While NSS searches for traces of life-essential water molecules previously delivered by the lander's engines, finding accessible deposits could enable longer expeditions across magnificent desolate plains. And for future astronauts braving longer stints on the harsh, irradiated surface, let's gauge's exposure levels from solar particles and galactic cosmic rays. Meanwhile, LRA, an optic reflector, becomes a navigation beacon, assisting precise targeting of upcoming landers like Astrobotic's larger Peregrine incarnations. These scaled-up Peregrine spacecraft triple predecessor capacity, carrying 300 kilos, destined for companies, governments, and U.S. dreamers to purchase. Under their ambitious new lunar delivery services, you could send a personalized Moonbox time capsule to sit amongst this eternal lunar vista centuries into the future. Whether an urn with a loved one's ashes, your favorite music album cover to last an eon, or a custom rover to roam 16 Earth days under pink star-drenched skies, Astrobotic can professionally encapsulate and land your memento anywhere on the moon. Of course, hefty fees start around $4.5 million per kilo, but unprecedented memorial options abound on the lunar surface. Additionally, bespoke moon rangers also extend payload reach by investigating surrounding terrain. These mini rovers withstand extreme cold, rocketing debris, and two Earth weeks of darkness, relaying images and science through the lander hub. Astrobotics even envisions peregrine derivatives transporting elements to construct lunar infrastructure 
across the regolith one day, boldly going where only 12 humans have treaded before, I'd relish watching this off-world construction unfold on NASA's enthralling live streams. Truly with this flexible spacecraft architecture and frequent payload manifests, Astrobotic embodies a new commercial era where moon missions shift gradually from extraordinary to routine. Already five Peregrine deliveries blast off over 2024, then over 14 contracted payloads send science and memories to rest amongst magnificent desolation before 2027. From experiments gauging radiation enduring decades to deployable shelters and mini-robotics burrowing subsurface, Peregrine landers promise expanding infrastructure, forging our first foothold on new worlds. Watching Peregrine launch conjured nostalgic Apollo-era echoes, yet with private sector ingenuity, we stand at new frontiers again, my friends. No longer fleeting missions, we embark on an enduring lunar era of science and commerce, settling under penny-hued skies one day. Hey there, fellow explorers of the night sky. It's Dr. D here. A big thank you for joining me on this astronomical journey. Your likes and views are as valuable as the stars in the sky.